Hi, I'm RJ Straw, aka Young Shepherd, owner of RJ's Cuties and BarnumLab.com. This is a special edition Fiber Christmas in July. This is the front desk here with Miss Bridget. Then we have booths on both sides. I got Mom some pink roving out of this booth and two stitch markers out of there. This was an Ashford dealer. She had all kinds of stuff. Carters, spinning wheels, everything you could think of that you needed. Then over here on your left, this lady had some really nice stuff. I went in there. I didn't see anything that I really had to have other than this really fuzzy alpaca that we just passed. It was really nice. Um, it was too high for me. But this lady had candles and soap and anything else you could think you'd need for that department. Then we had some yarns, rovings, baskets. Um, then... That other booth had four people in it right here. This booth had four people in it. There was baskets, angora locks, um, books. They had kiss looms, which were knitting looms, which made it look like you were really knitting. Then I had my booth here, which was a really, everybody liked it. I was trying to, we had a free candle giveaway that got everybody in. Then this lady here spins up, this is my booth again, sorry I thought we was going on, but it, I was trying to get people to buy stuff and being a good salesman. This lady here had rare breeds, what she called it. This is Danny the Shears booth, which she had all kinds of stuff, anything from woodwork to rovings. This lady here spins up animal yarns from animals that have passed which is a little bit different but it's all the same cats and dogs is what she spins up mainly um they had booths out here that's how many booths they'd had these are all different things everybody had they even had some bunnies out somewhere we ended up with one cocoa puff this booth over here is where you check in your hats. We checked in our hats, but we did not enter them in the contest because ours weren't very good. But they would keep you warm. That is a booth from the lady from Bartersville. There's all the hats that were entered in the contest. There's lots of different ones. Whole lot. They're for cancer patients. Then back here there was felting and making banners, which was really cool. This was just a really cool little uh what do you call it a little thing you put your yarn on when it comes from the yarn it's a yarn winder is what it is this lady had dyes everybody had a little bit of everything she had some roving there then miss mirandia had her booth there or miss dominique just however you know her um she had all kinds of different things in her booth she's even helping a friend by taking strings off of her but she had some pre-knitted stuff, then some different rovings, and she's even stopping us to wave to you and say hi. So, this was Mrs. Dawn's booth. She had spinning we spin drop spindles, rovings, anything you could think of. Then there's Lost City Yarns, which is here on here that we're looking at now. And then these are just different little booths that were up here towards the front. Get ready for the worst interview of my life that I've done. This lady had Cotswold sheep here. We might be getting a ram from her. Then there are some people that had spinning wheels and stuff like that. And we're back up to the front. But get ready for the worst interview of my life. It was so loud. Mom tried saying what I was saying into the camera, but you still couldn't hear it. I'm here with Miss Kate at Kelly Fire Fest. We're sitting at my booth. Then you're going to be like interviewing Miss Kate. How did this fire eventually start? My friend Jane and I wanted to. Have, we wanted to do something like this for a long time. So several years ago, I was laid off from my job, and suddenly I had a whole lot of time. So we decided we wanted to have a fiber festival. So we did.
and you can curl on these. And now it's turned into this. You can't curl, you can't turn into this. This is our sixth year. As for how big is it? How big is it? Uh, we have 34 vendors and you scoop and your stitch and you grab your yarn and you bring it up. 12 classes. And then you give it a little stretch. You can do it. We last it a day and a half, and basically. Ask her if they have any chart chart you count how many people come down You count how many people come down here? Yes, we do. We, we give out uh, door price tickets and we keep track of the numbers so we know how many are coming. On average, how many do you get in? Um, yesterday, we had. 140. Today, so far, we're up to 212. Last year, on Saturday, we had 274. So, just do a shake your hand. Thanks for being with me.